Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a completely fresh and new Let's Play. Uh, I did say that, uh, speaking of the uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 6 walkthrough, don't worry. I have decided to continue that eventually. It's just slightly in hold for just a moment in preparation for something else that's coming out very soon, which I intend to stream. So no, it's not our intend to broadcast actually. This however is not one of them. This is just uh, a game I really adore. I've been playing this uh, when it was an alpha still and uh, decided to play it as well when it came out on Steam. I actually did, uh, I do have a kingdom here. Um, this is actually one of the games I 100%ed on Steam so this kingdom here has all these uh, it's all like everything, pretty much everything unlocked. Few things I haven't gotten yet, but since there wasn't really an achievement bound to it, the point was a little bit less. It was a little bit less of a point. So yeah, I say we just, um, just make a new kingdom. I mean, why not? Let's call it Utopia. Yes, I like that name. And uh, well, I'll let you lead the, read this little bit. A little bit. I could just skip through, but uh, there you go. We had like four, a few seconds to read each. And there we go. So, what is this game? Um, I've been thinking a lot about playing this and whether I should uh, explain like everything that's going on. And I think I will just explain like as we encounter stuff. It's basically a dungeon crawler with uh, the main twist being that your resource is actually the black space here. All this black space regens life and mana. It's one mana per tom and uh, one times your level per uh, life per tile. So this would, this would heal me for three as you can see it's four and this would heal me for three that allows me to take this thing on. Basically, I mean, you can see that how much you can see how much damage you get here. Like every tick tells you how much damage you do. I, I right-click this so I can uh, select it and I can use this mini menu here to attack. This thing has first strike, so it always attacks first. Uh, normally, stuff that's higher level than you will attack first. Stuff that's lower level than you will attack last. Same level is uh, same level or higher is attack first. Sorry. I'm Lower than you is you will attack first unless we have something called uh, heroic like first strike here. Then that doesn't work. There are ways to get rid of this. One way is to slow the slow the enemy. We'll get to that later. Well, anyway, let's just move through this tutorial. Hit it twice. Be done. The tutorial is nice enough to tell me I should go here. Now I'm fully healed. Now I'm basically wasting tiles because I'm fully healed and can anything. Here's some more. I mean, I might just as well kill it. I mean, this is just a tutorial, so we can just go through this really quickly. It's just to make you like... Don't, yeah, it's just like a way to uh, get to know how to attack and whatever. Because as you can see, I can't, I won't, I won't survive this. If you look at uh, my health, I, I take, uh, I go down to two. I hit it once, I hit it twice. Well, I don't even get to hit it twice, so I will die before that. It is, however, a good way to get experience by attacking higher cre high level creatures is actually the main mechanic in the game. If you attack higher level creatures you get more experience. As you can see I will end up at 7 experience. These other two have all given 1 experience. But this one sh uh, will give 4 because it's uh, it's high level might and I get a massive experience bonus. Well I'm very considerable. I think it's... I don't, I don't know the exact math of it. So I will I have to apologize for that, but I can't take this on just yet because I don't have any tools really to take it on. So what I'm going to do is just level up and this should uh, bring me in range. As you can see, I'm not exploring everything. Um, unlike dungeon crawlers, which you may be used to, which do uh, encourage exploring, here it's actually disencouraged. You'd rather, you'd best just, um, um, you'd best just, um, spent your movement wisely. Well there you go, you have some boosters as well, there's always a fixed number of these per map. 
Basically this gives you a 10% attack boost, so that gives you a 10% bonus on everything. You don't have to wait with, with picking this up. I mean, if you have like 15 attack, you pick it up. and uh, Or if you have 10 attack, it's still going to be 10% every time. It will uh, be static, it, will, uh, it, won't, it, it won't be temporary, it's permanent for this map. I mean, it's a roguelite, I suppose. A roguelike, maybe. So it means that... Um, if you die here, it's uh, game over, basically. And this is all... Well, there may be subfloors, but uh, generally there's... Anyway, this gives uh, one mana per le uh, one health per level. This thing gives 10%, this thing gives one, one mana. Just one, no, not level-based. So as you can see, we get a spell here. Double-click to pick it up. We can pick it up like that. This is a, a spell which always spawns every mission, pretty much. Unless there's like special uh, rules per mission, like a puzzle or something that doesn't. And this also has an extra effect to to uh, burn, which basically means that as long as this effect is on an enemy, it'll heal for one less. Because also enemies heal the same rate as you do. Uh, same rate as you would. I mean, if you attack a level 4 minion, it will heal 4 minion, 4 health per uh, tile explored. With, uh, with this thing on it, it will only heal 3. Anyway, let's kill some stuff. These things are uh, physical resistant. 90% even. Normally they aren't 90%. What I can do is just burn one and attack the other. I mean, the burn also will do extra damage when I attack it, like in the face, but I'll attack this and you see that this will work as well. This is also an uh, important mechanic. It won't be that important now, because as you can see, it, I can't really do anything with it, but I can just burn it and attack it, get, 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 get rid of it. Healing potions, self-evident. You can see here there's some stuff over this river. I mean, there's like hard folk and like semi-folk, I suppose you could call it over water or a swamp, which you can't walk on over by the way, but you can just walk around and pick this stuff up. Seeding potion, I mean, I think there's like something else hidden there as well. I'll just kill this. Same with this. First strike doesn't work, there's no retaliation from uh, fireballs, so you don't have to worry about this. This. As you can see, this thing couldn't hit uh, back because, well, I'm higher level. This, however, I can kill. This is a higher level m m minion. This is level 4, I'm level 3. So if I kill this, I get 5 experience instead of 4. Which is uh, pretty good. Do I get 5? No, I get 6. So you get 2, two, ex two on top of... Uh, either it's 50% or 2 extra, it's okay. Anyway, I can just throw 2 fireballs and kill it. It's a higher level creature, it's pretty good. This is another uh, like aspect of this game. It's the conversion. Basically, every item has a conversion point, a conversion cost. This one has 35. These potions have like 10, and uh, all glyphs generally have 100 unless you pick some certain preparation which changes it. Changes it. This way, this is not the case here. Basically what you can do is, this thing is only here for the conversion, it can't do anything else, it's not a usable item. This thing is too much of example. But you can drag it in here and you'll get uh, you get conser conversion points. Uh, uh, depending on the race you are, I'm a human, you get a bonus. In the case of a human, it's a simple 10% extra bonus, so it's an extra booster, so to say. That's pretty good. So let's uh, pick it up. Here's another higher level creature, as you can see this one is I won't survive two hits and it will survive the fireballs. However, now it's burning, so I could just heal up a little bit. Like take one tile, hit it again, blah blah. This is like Battle of Attrition, this is another really important concept of this game. If you just do it like this, you will uh I mean, if you can do it more damage than it can deal you while you regenerate, then you're uh, in a good spot. As you can see, it has two stacks of burning, so it will get two damage the moment I attack it or anything else. So I'll attack this and it should die. As you, as you can see, it died, I leveled up. Leveling up fully heals you, fully uh, removes, well, most ailments. But yeah. Anyway, this is just like. Just gonna kill some of this stuff. I mean, this is a tutorial, so I don't think there's anything else here. I mean, this thing has a magical attack, it's not relevant for now, but some things have resistance to magic. 
have some uh, classes which you can use that way. All right, area of bleedy. Let's do it the same way. Let's. It's, it's good practice. Just throw one fireball, make sure I don't overcap on mana, because that's wasted tiles. Attack first, do, mana, do fireball. Very good. Okay, I can explore two more tiles. Alright, since I don't want to waste my mana, I'll just throw a fireball at it. Actually, I can do it again and it, it's done. There we go. When you killed, that was the boss, by the way. You can see it from, uh, you can see the can deduct that from the floor around it. You see like bones and blood that means you're near the boss. Basically if you do it you can uh, get a trophy you can exit. However the tutorial tells me to go here so I'm gonna do that. I might just just kill everything in here. No apparent reason other than that I'm that I want to. There we go. And it's some gold. This is uh, I believe oh, this is only five. There's other things which are ten. No, these are all five, okay. This gives you some extra money to start with. I mean, if you're done with the map, you can explore everything else because you have an overworld map in which... Oh, there we go, extra health as well. It's a really decent item. Any money you bring with you, so this 25 here, will will end up in the overworld map. And with this overworld money, you can uh, upgrade your uh, town. We'll, we'll get to that later. For now, let's just see if there's anything else. There could be something here. You can see like a little... Uh, there's something else behind this wall, but I can't get there, so it's no point. There's ways to break walls, but not on this mission. So I don't know why this is there, but it's there. Anyway. And uh, I'm not going to do the basic tutorial. I pretty much already covered most of it, so that's onward. And let you read this. There we go. So we start with a little city here. This is the oval map. This is basically where you can get bonuses, unlock new classes. Uh, Unlock new races, I suppose. Unlock new items as well for challenges. These challenges can be really difficult. We'll, we'll definitely get to them because those are like the ones you would struggle with most, I think. Alright. So we're going to upgrade the guild. So rather than a guard, we actually get the first full-fledged class. So it's the fighter unlock. There you go. So yeah, I, I could just go to one of these. These are like really easy dungeons. Basically, you get to use this class. Um, anyway, but that's for the next episode because I am going to call it quits here. Um, I will do one dungeon per episode and try to explain as much as I can. That means that the episodes will be variable in length, so I'm not gonna watch length here. Some will will be significantly harder than others. <clears throat> but for now, let's just uh, end it here and. Uh, We'll uh, continue with one of these dungeons with the warrior afterwards. So thanks for watching and see you then.